These five key minutes changed Mad Max and Furiosa for good. A franchise that has grossed over $552 million, takes 407 minutes to watch, scores nearly 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, whilst the best is yet to come. And yet, within those 407 minutes, there were five minutes that completely changed the course of the George Miller directed franchise. But to understand that change, we need to know the main character, Max Rokotansky. A name that remains unchanged to this day was first portrayed three times by Mel Gibson, then by Tom Hardy, and now by Tom Hardy's former stuntman, Jacob Tomori. The arrangement was I would kill you. As Max can be described as quiet, not speaking to a specific extent, and never paying much attention to his developing reputation. Whether that comes from his pre-apocalyptic life as a true family man and a police officer is debatable. Now that Max is introduced, I want to go back to 2015, the days when... Oh, that's a little too far. On May 15th, 2015, Mad Max Fury Road got released. And this was that film with a 5 minute complete change of course thing. But before we dive back in time, may you take these two titles into consideration. When the captivating plot of Fury Road starts, it is Max's voiceover that opens the film. My world is fire and blood. As the first major event comes when Max gets captured by the war boys after his unsuccessful attempt to flee, whilst the viewer also gets a look into his hallucinations caused by PTSD, as Max imagines former victims he was not able to save. However, when Charlize Theron's Furiosa enters the film, the film's focus starts to shift from Max to Furiosa, as over the course of the film, Furiosa tries to bring Immortan Joe's captives back to the green place, before eventually explaining to Max that the setting is actually a verdant oasis in the middle of a wasteland. Then Furiosa is devastated to learn that she has already crossed the Green Place and was unaware of the area's transformation, which had become completely uninhabitable. Now that's quite a discovery on its own, but now we have to shift about three quarters into the movie, when Furiosa arrives at the Green Place, as this was the scene where the film's perspective has changed 180 degrees. And after three and three quarters of film, Max had officially become a passenger of his own franchise, thanks to Furiosa who wasn't included in any of the first three films. That helped to complete Max's transformation and build a nice setup for the newest film, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, which completely confirms that Furiosa took the driver's seat, whilst Max doesn't even take the back seat, but rather lays in the trunk. Where Darth Vader once transformed from a star antagonist to a character of the past in the Star Wars universe, a similar kind of transformation is now happening to Max Rokotansky. And by the time of producing this video, Furiosa already scores over 90% on Rotten Tomatoes and continues a well-beloved 45-year-old franchise. And that's where I dropped the mic. 